Dr. Joshua Snape is a lunar geology expert at the University of Manchester and he joins us now. Great to have you on the programme. So what, why is this all so important for science and space exploration? Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, you've, you've outlined it really well in your introduction. Uh, the key fact is that these are the first samples that we've got from the lunar far side uh, from any kind of sample return mission. Uh, everything that we had from the Apollo missions and the Soviet lunar missions in the, in the 1970s uh, and from the, the previous Chinese mission, Chang'e 5, they all came from the lunar near side. And we know from our orbiting spacecraft that the two uh, hemispheres of the moon are drastically different in the, the geology that they present on the surface. Uh, so we're really, really curious to see what these rocks have got to show us. Now, analysing moon matter is very much your thing. What, what stands out for you so far in these findings? Uh, so, so far, I mean, they, they look, to a certain extent, as we would expect, they are, um, this the particular landing site is um, a volcanic region. So you can think of maybe the volcanoes of Hawaii or Iceland. We're talking about very large kind of lava flows, but they are nestled within uh, a a huge impact crater on the moon. Uh, and so what I'm really looking forward to is seeing the ages that we get from these rocks. And I know, I have it on good authority that this work is uh, gonna be coming out probably quite soon. Um, and it will be very interesting to see both what the ages of these volcanic eruptions were, yeah. but also uh, when these large impact structures formed. With the new knowledge these new samples bring, are we, any closer to working out if we can live on the moon? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, it's This is probably not the best mission for determining whether or not we would uh, want to live on the moon, um, but it's it's one small piece kind of building up to uh, future human uh, return activity. And certainly in the, the coming decade, we're going to be really excited to see both the, the Chinese and the, uh, the US uh, Artemis programs, as they both have plans to return humans to the moon uh, in, the, in this decade. Dr. Joshua Snape, thank you very much.